I've got a Marshalls haul that I thought I could compare to my latest Wantable. So, if you want to see what I got and take a look at some of the items that I feel could be comparable to my Wantable, uh, but who knows, once I get it on, I might be like, nope, it's definitely worth the money. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Chloe and Ben aren't with me this evening, but if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. We do all kinds of unboxings, unbaggings, get ready with me's, collaborations, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're into that kind of thing, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So I went to Marshall's today, really just to get some undergarments because my house has sock trolls and underwear gnomes and socks and underwear go missing and I don't know where they go. So while I was there, I was like, oh, look at this. This is nice. This is nice. So I picked up a few things and then I thought, well, some of these could maybe be stand-ins for things I got in my most recent Wantable at a much better price. So I thought we could check these out and I could pop pictures of what I got from Wantable so that we can kind of decide what is the better deal. Now, a lot of times I'll go to Marshall's and I'll pick stuff up and most of it will go back because it just doesn't fit right. It just doesn't look right. I do find like I do a much better job with the style of subscription services than picking for myself. Even things that I think I will like or, you know, that look like things that they may have picked out for me. So we'll see how Marshall's does this time. So um, I want to start off by pointing out this top. Now this top I've had for years. I did get it from um, the loft outlet on sale for like maybe $20 or something like that. And there is a top I just got in that Wantable that is different but similar. It's got like the corally color, but it's got like a little bit of a wash to it. It does have like a, a, a twist front, but not like right in front here. I think it's over on the side if I recall correctly. So, um, you know, I love the color of this. I don't necessarily like this in the front. I just don't feel like it's the most flattering for me, but I do love the color. So I'm feeling like that Wantable one is going to be the better match for me. Um, this sweater I did get from um, FabFitFun in, I think it was the fall. It was a an, uh, boost my box kind of thing. Um, and it's just a nice kind of like hanging around the house kind of sweater. It's, I mean, I did wear it to work today, full disclosure, because I was only there a half day. Um, and because we were expecting snow. So I am filming this on the 14th, but we were supposed to get, well, where I live, several inches of snow, or where my mom lives, several inches of snow. Um, it started snowing at like 2 o'clock today, and then kind of petered out. But other parts of the state have up to 18 inches, maybe even more by this point. I haven't caught the news. But as you can see, we have very limited. No snow at all, just some rain. So living by the shore does have its advantages. But I was like, it's going to be a snow day. I just want to be warm and cozy. All right, let's move on to what's in this bag. So I got a pair of white linen pants that were kind of a loose, flowy pant. They were drawstring, which isn't my favorite. Um, I feel like I kind of have to have something in front of it. It just doesn't look good as a tuck-in. They were, I believe, $66. So <clears throat> these are by Sincerely Jewels. These are wide leg trousers in white. They are see-through, but the other ones were see-through as well. So they do have, they are elastic waist, but they do have kind of a flat front and they do have pockets. I believe the other one had pockets too. So I'm going to try these on. These are $16.99. So that's a huge difference. If I can save some change by keeping these and sending the others back, that's fantastic. And then in that one, I got a blue and white striped shirt. So I picked up this. I do have a similar top to this, um, but it has a little bit of a cutout up here. The top that I got in Wantable was sleeveless and it was dark blue with white versus kind of an even array of striping. 
Um, but this is a blue and white, and I thought that would go cute with the pants. So those are the two things. I couldn't find a dress that was similar to the one from my Wantable or any other tops, but this t-shirt is $12.99. So um, I thought that was a good replacement. Now, one of the issues was the fit, too, because I pretty much wear a large, but there wasn't very much in large. So it was uh, there was a lot in small, a pretty good variety in medium, very few things that I liked in large. And then the other things I picked up were all extra large, so they might be a little big. Or, I mean, sometimes, you know, because of fit, they fit right at extra large. The white pants were in the juniors, so they may not be the best fit. This was also in the juniors section, so this is the back of it. This is by Midnight Sky. I did get an extra large because it was in the juniors. But it is a wrap with a snap front, and I just thought that was lovely. And I thought if I got this in a box, I would so want to keep this. So I thought I'd give it a try. It's $14.99. So that's a great price. I loved the back too. Next by Dr. Two is this sleeveless top, but I thought it was just A, a pretty color. It's a nice plum and I liked the embroidery design on there. And then I also liked the way the front just kind of opens up. And then last by Cupid is this short sleeve. It's a camo print top or not camo. It's actually more of a tie dye. I thought it was camo in there, but it's more of a tie dye. It is similar to something I got in Wantable some time back that was long sleeve. It's soft. I think the other one was probably softer, but um, super cute and $14.99. Whereas the sweatshirt that they had sent me, while super soft um was i think over 70 dollars so i was like mm, 70 dollars for a sweatshirt i can't swallow that all right i'm going to try some things on i'm going to start with um just kind of the cute little tops that i wouldn't i mean i could wear with the white pants but um things that i'm going to throw on with these jeans and then i will try on the um white pants with the striped top so I can kind of show you in comparison to what I got from Wantable. And um, I'll also try on with the fancy top. All right, I will be right back. Here is that first top. And I mean, I think it's nice and comfy. It is a little bit long. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Like when I pick stuff out, I don't necessarily know that I do the right job. Um, and... It's a little bit better, um, but I do like it. It is the kind of thing I could kind of like wear around on the weekend. Um, it's the kind of thing that my daughter would see and probably steal from me. So, um, you know, there's that. But all right, let me try on another top for you. Okay, so here is that next top. This is definitely a bit big. Um, I absolutely love the color and the style of it. Um, so untucked, it's quite large. Um, but tucked in a little bit, I think I could live with that. I definitely love the style and I love the colors of this. So this, um, this might be a keeper right here. All right, so right off the bat, I can tell you I hate this shirt. Um, it's kind of clingy, and it just does nothing positive for me. Um, the pants, I think, are quite similar. Um, so some pros about these pants, obviously, besides the price, is that they're not a linen blend. Now, the other pants were long, too. So... Um, they're going to need to be hemmed no matter what. Um, these do seem to be a bit wider in the leg just from my own recollection of them. So um, that's something I'm going to have to look at. Um, but they're not linen, so they're not going to be crinkly all the time, which is 
one problem with linen. Um, they are very high waisted, although I believe the other ones were pretty high waisted too. So, um, yeah, there is that, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it, but this right here, at least like this, that's a thumbs down. There's no cute in this at all. So, um, you know, if this were a boxier fit, I could see it, but it's just such a clingy fit that no matter what I do with it, it just looks horrendous. All right, well, let me try on that last top and then some overall thoughts. Okay, so, um, This is not cute together, I have to say. I think I've got to try on the top with something else, but I almost feel like I've got this 80s vibe with the sleeves being kind of puffy, and I feel like I'm just kind of like in the movie Working Girls. Um, I feel like this does nothing for this area, and I feel like the other pants were maybe a little bit more friendly in that area. They didn't kind of cling to this. Um, I'm going to go try them on though so we can actually see, but, um, because, I don't know, maybe those other pants are going to go back too, and maybe I just won't have, uh, either white pants. These definitely are going to go back though, because this right here is just not, um, it's not a good look for me. You know, these are not, uh, friendly to those of us who have a little bit more extra in that area. All right, let me try on those wannable pants. We'll see what we think. Okay, so here are those wannable pants, and at least just in the front, it definitely has a little bit more looseness, so it's not really clinging to that part of my belly. Um, so unfortunately, I will not be duping these pants with the $16.99 pants because just purely um, the other ones are not very friendly to a larger size gal. Um, this top is definitely still going to go back. I love the print. I think it's so lovely, but, and I like that it's a wrap type, but what I don't like is these sleeves. These sleeves are definitely like just something out of the eighties. Um, I feel like these should have like big shoulder pads or something. I don't know. Um, I'm just not a fan. So this is another thumbs down. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Um, Again, I tried to dupe some things with things from TJ Maxx, and as you can see, there's just definitely a difference in the clothing, and particularly if you're skinny, you could probably wear anything. I'm not. So it is a delicate balance. I'm not skinny and I'm short. So those are two things that really require a little bit of extra attention. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, I think I am probably going to get these pants, so I kind of have to make a decision by tomorrow, and um, I think that these are not uh, not so bad, but let me know your thoughts. Um, I mean, I'm not saying they're great, but I need white pants, and I need white pants that aren't jeans, because I got white jeans. So, um, pretty much anything else, you know, is going to, is probably not going to look good. I mean, when you are a little bit larger, sometimes white is not a good bottom color, but, um, it does go well with a lot of things. And I think these give at least enough, um, looseness to them that they're workable for me. All right, well, thank you so much for spending a little time with me. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and hopefully I'll see you soon.